Good morning. <laughs> Bagels for breakfast. I just made Emma and I a green juice and Emma brought over this tree line strawberry cream cheese. I've literally never seen a dairy free strawberry cream cheese and I really love this brand. So I'm excited to try. We did, are these cinnamon raisin? Yeah. Cinnamon raisin strawberry cream cheese, like literally the best combo. So good. I've been literally editing all day. I'm finally leaving the house. I'm gonna go get my nails done right now. I'm gonna show you guys because this is awful. <laughs> These are my nails right now. They're my natural nails, but this one right here broke. And this one right here broke. So all of them are long and I'm gonna go get the Aprez gel like extensions put on. But I'm going to a different place than I normally go to and I'm like nervous because I don't even know why. I feel like because I just like have never been there before and this like isn't, I'm not like comfortable there. So I'm kind of nervous, but I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna bring my camera. Um, but I'll just show you guys my nails once I'm back. Okay, I'm gonna do a little try on haul right now. This video is sponsored by Boohoo and I picked out so many cute things that are just like fun for summer. I'm really excited to show you guys everything I got and I will link it all down below so you guys can check it out. But the first item is this dress right here which is so cute. It's like a little one shoulder moment. I love the blue, pinks, purples. This dress is so fun, just like summer night, dinner, Fresh tan, was at the beach all day, you know what I mean? I love it. Then I got this cute little set. I thought that this was so just like different and fun. I love the set because they're just so effortless and easy. Just throw on some shoes, a bag, accessories, and you're good to go. But I love the detailing of the top right here. The pattern is so fun, and I just love the material. It's like really soft and stretchy. Ooh. I'm obsessed with this. Then we have a cute little black halter. I love the ring. I love just like the cut of this top. It's so flattering. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with this. I like want it in more colors. I love it. Obviously paired it with some baggy jeans, which are my favorite and go-tos for summer. And this would look really cute with like a pair of heels or even you could do like sneakers or something. Um, but yeah, I love this top. Okay, another cute top. I don't even know if this is how you're supposed to wear it, but this is how I am gonna wear it. I love wearing tops like this. Um, again, just with like the baggy jeans. So fun, love it for summer. And I'm obsessed with like the print of this. I love all the different colors. That's a vibe. Another cute little top that I hope I tied the right way. I have these really cute little purple heels that I would wear with this. I'm really into purple right now. So yeah, this is cute. This top, I love. I wouldn't wear it probably with these jeans, but I am for the sake of the video since I have them on right now. But I love these cutouts, little pearls for the buttons. It's just like beautiful little ivory knit tank top. Then I got this little black button up. I don't know if you guys can really see the detailing on it, but I got it in purple, so I'll try to show you guys. I'll try that one on after this one to show you guys. But it has just really cute detailing around the buttons, and yeah, just cute little crop. Long sleeve, the material is so nice. It's like soft and stretchy and comfy. I probably would unbutton ugh, this top button right here. Yeah, so cute. Yeah, this is that same top, and you can see better now but how cute is that i love it i'm really into purple right now like i said um but yeah i just think the vibe for the summer is like a cute top and some baggy jeans well at least that's my vibe <laughs> so i've just been like getting so many cute little tops that's why i got this one in two different colors i really love it then got a little blazer love love a blazer moment <laughs> also my friend Emily had a, well she has a blazer that's zebra and I thought that it was so cute and just like different and fun. So when I saw this I was like, I wanna get it. Cause I remember Emily showing me hers and I was like, I love that. Like I said, blazers for the summer, 10 out of 10. You can just like wear them with literally anything. 
and um, I feel like it really like elevates your outfit. And then I got a few different oversized shirts. You can definitely dress them up, but I got these for like the purpose of wearing them over bikinis like unbuttoned with little denim shorts and stuff. So this is the first one right here. I'm obsessed with it. It's just like a white silk and then has like tie dye. Love this. Then we have your classic blue and white pinstripe button up. This shirt like reminds me of my dad. <laughs> he used to wear these growing up. Well, he wears them like to work and stuff. Um, but yeah, really cute. It gives me like more of like Cape vibes, the Hamptons. Love. And then of course, a white button up. Everyone should have a white button up oversized in their, an oversized white button up in their closet. Perfect for like throwing over a bikini with some shorts. You could even do it unbuttoned with white pants. Just so many different ways you could wear it as like an overshirt for literally anything. I love throwing just like a white button up on with like biker shorts and a sports bra. Just is really cute and one of my go-to pieces in my closet. So yeah. And last for clothing items, I got these pants. Disregard the tank top, I would wear these definitely with like a bikini or something as a little cover up. That's why I got them. I just thought that they were like fun and different and you can throw them on with a plain bikini and it just like adds to your look. So these are really cute. And then lastly, got some shoes. These heels are really cute. Just a white lace up heel. Love these. And then I got these slides right here. If you know, you know. Love. And then these heels right here, which I thought were really fun. Little thong flip-flop heels and really cool material. So yeah, that's everything I got. I'll link it all down below so you guys can check out these pieces. My Welcome to another, dessert. it's right here. Welcome to another Wednesday night dinner, you guys. Oh, also I got my nails done. Red, they're like fire truck red. <laughs> so I'm cooking some Brussels sprouts right now. I did like a sweet Asian chili sauce that I'm gonna like literally get them so crispy in the skillet and they're gonna be so good. And what did you make, Graydon? Where's the? Oh, we just opened the fridge. Graydon did trim cocktail. And we're making like fish taco bowls tonight. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> My own. Good morning. Emma and I are getting ready to go into our workout. Please no. <laughs> oh. Well, we're getting ready to go into our workout. We just got Blue Bottle. I'm like buzzing from the Blue Bottle right now. Emma's making me an Apple I'll Music. I'll make this playlist. Wait. Um, I don't have this playlist public, but I'll make it public. So yeah, make it Apple. public for me. I just made an Apple Music. And I'm so. My hopeless romantic playlist. I'm so excited because I use Spotify. When but you tell me I was a hopeless romantic. I, really? Yes. But I want to be able to like send music on my like in text, you know what I mean? Like send songs. Where's your music? Um, it's right here. It's that big one right there. Also, if anybody knows a way to get your um, playlist from Spotify there's onto a, Apple Music, there's, a, there's an app. I just have to ask Logan. Oh, I know what it is though. Never mind then. But yeah, I need to do that because your girl's now going to be Apple Music. Follow me, my username is Mem9. <laughs> but we're going into the workout. I am wearing today bomber, little aloe tank, aloe leggings, and I'll show you guys my outfit like when I'm standing up, but I'll link everything for y'all. I'm like really into this outfit. It's like comfy and stuff. I'm just doing mobility work today at the workout because my back like still hurts so bad and I didn't want to just not come. And Mike told me that I can just do mobility work and it will, will help so much. So Dad, I'm gonna do that. Beautiful <laughs> 
Hi guys, it's been a little bit um, since I got back from my workout. Actually, I'm going to clean off my... Hold on. Ooh, that's actually so much better. Since I last vlogged, I'm showered, obviously. And um, yeah, I'm getting ready to pack for New York. I leave for New York tomorrow morning with Emma. I'm so excited. I'm going to vlog the whole trip. But I just thought I'd bring you guys through like packing and show you guys... The outfits that I'm bringing, I had a call with Emily. <laughs> I'm acting like it's so official. I FaceTimed Emily, my friend. I'm going to link her Instagram down below. She's a stylist. And whenever I'm like going anywhere or doing something, I always call her. And she styles me for like my trips and events and just dinners and stuff that I have. And it's so much fun. She's so good at what she does. So it's super fun like working with her and having her style me. And then I just get so excited and I feel like my outfits, I just feel super put together and like confident and when you have on like an outfit that you really love and you feel good in and you're just confident, there's really nothing better than that. So I'm super excited. We have four outfits, two day, two night, and I'm going to try everything on and show you guys and then kind of like talk you through why everything was styled like the way that it was I guess and just like the things that she picked out and like the colors and stuff I'll explain everything but anyway um something else I wanted to say I forget oh I'm not wearing any like heels or anything there because of my back I'm gonna wear sneakers or like flat shoes the whole time um, and then I kind of wanted to dress a little bit more like street but like a street chic so that's what we did so i'm gonna show you guys what we have my room is a mess right now i'm like in the process of cleaning my bed sheets so my bed is like an absolute disaster and then i just have everything all laid out so we're gonna try on the outfits now and then i'm gonna get everything all packed up okay this is outfit number one so i'm not gonna be wearing this tank top i have on right now i have a white one in the wash so this is just like a placeholder picture this being um, like a cropped white cutoff tank from Aritzia. It's still going to be like a racerback like this one. So white tank, oversized like baggy jeans from Shop Alley Grace. And then I have on my Travis Scott Dunk Lows. And I switched out the laces for these like baby pink laces to match the little swoosh on the inside. And then paired it with a little baby pink bag. To tie all the pink in and then for sunglasses I have on these Bottega um, hexagon glasses I'm obsessed with these and it's literally making everything look so dark but anyway these are the sunglasses and we did a like the original OG 2019 Maggie McDonald Jennifer Fisher chunky hoops I'm so into this outfit I love like anything kind of like street style and tomboy so this is super cute probably just gonna wear my hair in a bun um but yeah this is outfit number one okay this is outfit number two this is daytime number two and i have on this little blouse from with jean i've been like waiting so long to wear this it's so cute i'm obsessed with it and then i have on my natasha zinko jeans and these sneakers right here my new balances and then a little yellow bag to obviously match the yellow in the shirt. And also sneakers have a little bit of green in them to match like the green. And then for earrings, I just have these little thin dainty gold hoops and these little dainty gold sunglasses. Which I feel like since I can barely see the screen, I like can't, it's making it hard for me to like process my thoughts right now. Because the glasses are making it so difficult. But anyway, um... Yeah, this is the outfit. Super cute. I'm actually going to try on a different with jean shirt and see which one I like better. And I'm going to send Emily a picture to show like the two options. So this is option number one. 
dinner outfit number one. I am obsessed with this look. So I have on my Tural cowgirl boots and Shop Alley Grace denim shorts. I love how these ones are a little bit like more baggy and longer and I love the slits on the side. And then I have on this wrap blazer from Lioness. My little gold hoops, like just little thin hoops which are a must. Like they go with so much and I just feel like these are the hoops that I've been wearing the most this summer. And then I also have for a bag my Dior saddle bag which like matches perfectly with the blazer. And I just love the saddle bag with the boots. I just think I don't know, I'm like living for a little western moment, but I also love how like the blazer is cropped and you guys can see it like ties all in the back. It's not tied how it's gonna be when I wear it. Um, I'm gonna tie it a lot better, but you guys get the gist. This is the final nighttime look. Little top is from Staple and & Hue, and then I just have on these local European cargo pants. Same sneakers as daytime outfit number one, my Travis Scott's, and then this little tiny mini rhinestone bag that Emily actually got me for my birthday from Alexander Wang. So cute. Just like simple, um, but yeah, I really am obsessed with it. I don't know yet if I'm gonna wear the bag, like just hold it tiny like this, or I figured out that you could wrap the bag around your waist, and I've been seeing so many people have like these little waist bags lately, so I was like, that might be cute and emily and i were talking about it she was like you should honestly try it because i think it looks good so i'm gonna see how that looks i don't even know if these clasps are supposed to like fit together okay it like doesn't really fit but that's kind of a vibe um i'm probably just gonna end up holding it because i don't know how <laughs> I'd be able to pull that one off but anyway this is the outfit okay I ended up going with the this with jean top right here and I added another outfit with a little t-shirt from staple and hue and then this little Prada bag so everything's already outfit wise I'm just gonna pack like some comfy clothes now and then I have all my accessories and stuff and everything is going in this big suitcase. I'm taking the train, so I am just like gonna bring a huge bag and put everything in it. Also, if I buy stuff, I'm gonna have a lot of room to put it in there. I just don't know, probably won't shop, honestly, but just in case. And then I'll have room for like all my shoes, accessories, toiletries, and all that stuff. Okay, I know I said it in my last video when I was packing for Chicago, but if you missed that vlog, or if this is like the first video that you're seeing of mine, you need to get packing cubes for packing because it's gonna save you so much space and so much time because all of your stuff is organized. So I'm gonna link these down below. These are from CalPack, but there's so many different ones like online. Um, you can get them on Amazon. So I'll link a few down below. And I just feel like they're so easy because you can like put tops in one of them, pants, um, you can put like workout clothes, underwear, socks, bikinis, stuff like that. And just like really keep your clothes organized and separated. That's something that helps me. So I'm going to put all my stuff in here and um, pack it all up. I am actually in a rush because I'm going out to dinner in a little bit. So I'm going to be fast and I'm not going to film this parts of the vlog just because I need to like be super quick but you guys get the gist I'm just gonna like pack everything and I'll show you everything all organized once I'm done okay everything's all packed I have my bags in this dust bag right here I'm gonna use this one tomorrow so that's why I'm leaving it out and then shoes on this side I can put toiletries makeup bags stuff like that right here and then I have sunglasses in this little zipper pocket my suitcase is from away I love these suitcases. I've had it for so long and it's in such good condition and I travel a lot and this suitcase is so sturdy. It is the best so it's definitely worth the money. I get so many questions on it and they come in so many different colors and you can personalize. Where is my... My initials are on the suitcase somewhere. I'll show you. 
<laughs> but um, they're really worth it. This isn't, this isn't sponsored, but if they do want to sponsor me, I love their suitcases. So anyway, I have my pants in one packing cube, tops in another, and then I'm just going to do like socks and underwear and stuff like that in like a little pouch, which is going to go in here. And yeah, this is how I pack. It's super easy, simple. I have it like down to a science and it keeps me super organized when I travel. I'm getting ready for dinner right now. Um, I'm going to do my makeup and... I'm gonna speed it up. <laughs> I'm gonna just do like B-roll. I use like the same products every single time I do my makeup. So there's like nothing new here if you've seen me do my makeup before. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get ready for dinner and I'm excited. I'm like super into just like getting all dressed up and like putting makeup on lately and I'm gonna go eat outside with Emma and it's gonna be so fun, so. <laughs> We're gonna get ready and I'll speed it up. I just like can't, I feel like I do my makeup better when I'm listening to music. So I'm gonna listen to music, speed this up for you guys, and I'll have all the products that I use um, linked down below. on my outfit I want to show you guys how I do my slick bun when I go out because I get so many questions about how I do it so I just thought the easiest way would be to just show you guys do a little tutorial I don't know if I'm gonna do I don't know if I should do like a um, middle part or just do a slick bun no middle part. One second. Um, I don't know if I should do middle part or no middle part. You know what? I think we're going to keep the part tonight and see how it looks. Usually I just brush back my hair like this. It's kind of hard because I have like this miniature brush that I'm using right now. But I just section my hair obviously into middle part i should start wearing my hair down wait why does my hair look cute down why do i like this with like it tucked behind my ears <laughs> now i'm like about to slick back my hair and part of me is like you should just leave it and do this because i never wear it down I don't know what to do. Let me go look in the mirror. Honestly, it's cute when I saw from like here up, but it's just not the vibe, I feel like. So we're gonna do slicked back, middle parted bun. So take hairspray, you can really use any. This is the Bedhead Masterpiece Shine Hairspray. I also really love this hairspray right here by Moroccan Oil. I think I'm gonna use this one. This one's one of my favorites. So I take this brush that I got from CVS. Any like drugstore um, probably has them. You can probably find one at Target, Walgreens, CVS, any of those. And I just brush back my hair. This thing is like crispy. It's so nasty, honestly. Okay, so what you're gonna do is just brush yeah brush the hair back with the hairbrush that has all the hairspray on it and this is like the trick to getting your bun like super sleek and just like snatched to your head don't forget to brush up like underneath your hair as well 
because you don't want any of like these little flyaways down here getting stuck. So I always brush up and then just go over this honestly a few more times until you feel like your bun or I mean your like hair is brushed like slicked back all the way before you put it into your bun. So yeah, once you have it like slicked back the way that you want it, which mine like kind of honestly looks a little bit funky right now, not gonna lie. I don't know if I'm loving the middle part with this outfit. We're gonna get rid of the middle part and do that the same thing without the part. So I'm gonna slick back the center and the sides. You guys are probably like Maggie. Can you not? Like what are you doing, girl? But Okay. Sorry, I'm like rushing. I need to go help Emma pick out some outfits for New York before dinner. Okay, slicking back to the center. My hair's getting so long. Like what? I feel like it was just yesterday when I like cut it all off. Okay, so anyway, then we secure the ponytail with like a tiny elastic. And I just am gonna make sure it's super tight and kind of like pull it a little bit. And then after, you have your little ponytail or yeah your ponytail in your hair um this is what i do i like to use two so i will do like the ponytail itself and before you put it into the bun you're just gonna twist and then wrap mine's kind of hard because my hair is like so short but i'll try to stand like this so you can see i just twist and wrap like this and it's not going to be perfect at all if you have short hair so you just kind of kind of kind of got to roll with it and hope for the best okay we're done i'm just gonna roll with this tonight um this is what it looks like probably has like pieces sticking up in the back but i honestly don't really care i kind of think that it looks cute that way and my hair is like honestly too short to be able to like have it all evenly put in. And then I just obviously spray some hairspray at the top, run my hands through it, and there you have it. <laughs> Outfit of the night. Just something casual. Um, I threw on this little top from Orson Iris, my favorite cargo pants from Local European, a little white bag from By Far, and then my New Balance sneakers.